Alrighty, welcome back to Well That Sucks, here to brighten up your day a little bit with other people's misfortunes, starting off with 19. I forgot the negative sign. Oh, God. Bro. I don't... Oh, this brings back terrible... Terrible memories. No, oh, no, please. Get this out of here. Wait, so hold on, you you did all of this, but in the very first line of everything you forgot a you forgot a negative sign. But but see what you should be able to do is have that auto populate all of the following fields, right? When you change one thing it should no, you just that's all manually typed. It's not like Excel independent. Oh, glad I dropped out of school on that one, dude. Sorry about that, bro. All right, unless unless you are actually landing a rocket somewhere, in which case, yeah, that's pretty cool, but also, whew. If you've never seen an uh, obese axolotl before, you're missing out. This is Hank. He has been way overfed by his previous owners and is now on a diet. I actually had no idea that reptiles could overeat and become too big. I had no idea. If you like present a reptile with too much food, will they just like eat it? Just like I will? And then they'll get too big? Sorry, Hank. Sorry that's happened to you. You, you and me, we're kind of in the same boat. We just can't control our eating impulses. The problem is that you have not been provided with a gym, okay? If you were provided with a gym, you would just be ripped. So it's your owner's fault. It's kind of the owner's fault regardless. But now, you know what? With your new diet, I'm sure you'll be Back to, to prime time in no time. <laughs> Poor Hank. <laughs> Way to ruin the moment. I see, oh, he's waiting on someone with flowers. It's so cute. Wait, is it what? Oh, wait, what, what the heck, dude? Can you guys like control yourselves and like not start pop? What are the odds that that's gonna happen too? Like the odds of you seeing a fight randomly happen in public pretty small. The odds of seeing a proposal happen in public, also pretty small. I guess if you're from like an outside observer, if you're the camera person here who's supposed to be there, then it's just whatever the odds of a fight happening are. That sucks so much. That's a hopefully once in a lifetime thing. And someone was just like, I'm gonna start punching another person right here. Oh, what's that you're proposing? I hope that the proposal broke up the fight because that's so unexpected. Can you imagine being in a fight? I hope you can't, because I hope you've never been in one. But then all of a sudden you see someone get down on one knee with flowers, you'd be like, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. I think we can have a gentleman's agreement that we move this elsewhere, and then we can resume punching each other in the face. All right, I feel like this should kind of trump the fight, but who knows, it ends too soon. Uh, frowny face, bracket, bracket. That's not a bracket. Parenthesis, parenthesis. My grandpa got all dressed up for his date, drove 45 minutes away, bought her chocolate and flowers, and he got stood up. Your grandpa's looking pretty fresh. I'm not gonna lie. He seems like he's doing all right. I'm sure he'll score another date pretty soon. No issues, dude. So it it'll all look up for the better. Cause you know, someone stands you up, that's obviously, even if they did make it, if they're the kind of person who would do that, then that's not someone you wanna interact with. So it's a bummer, but it works out for the better in the long run, right? Cause you'll end up with someone who's, you know, cooler and wouldn't do that and appreciates you and the effort that you put in. And so, you know, I'm sure by this point, your grandpa is like, he's chilling. He's doing okay. It's all right. And it's like, also, you're probably more bummed about it than your grandpa is. At that age, I'm sure you've experienced your fair share of that happening. Like you've got some life experience and you're just like, ah, it's fine. I don't really care. Find someone else, it's cool. Um, it's, I have plenty of other things to do in my retirement. I can just, you know, I'm chilling. My mate went chin first into a rock while mountain biking. Ow, nasty x-ray. What, what's in the, oh my God. No, that's worse than I expected. This looks like a glitching video game polygon. Like that just, it's it's like after I crash my car in BeamNG Drive and the, like the, Freaking model messes up and it just shoots out polygons all over. Like, what is what is this? What's that? What is happening here? It, does he have stuff going through the side of his cheek? I don't know what is going on. That's really not good. I don't like that. I want that to be fake. Can that be fake? Uh, it's metal artifacts from dental filings. Metal creates a streak artifact on CAT scan imaging. Oh, okay. Whoo! 
All right, so it literally is like a video game bug that happens as a result of metal fillings. Okay, at least we're safe there. Whew, you had me worried. That still doesn't look good at all, but at least we don't have to worry about a bunch of nails inside of his mouth. The Kansas City Fire Department had to rescue the Kansas City Police Department. Oh, no, not like this. Not, no, oh God, it's an elevator that got caught halfway between floors. Oh, no, this is how I died my first death on SMP Live. Go subscribe to Captain Sparkles 2 and watch on Twitch if you want to catch some quality Minecraft content. Live stream is pretty cool. Anyway, no, no, you couldn't pay me enough money. Even if the fire department was like, no, you're safe. We got like jacks supporting the thing in between the doors crawling out. I'd be like, nope. I mean, this is my home now. Okay, you guys can bring me food periodically. I'm gonna live here. I, I you know, I, I can't even like make a PSA about it because I'm sure that there, even though I cut my soda rings, when I throw them away, I'm sure there's other stuff I've thrown away, like bags that has made it to the ocean somehow, even though I've disposed of it in the proper ways. And so it's like, I've probably contributed to this in some way. I'm sure all of us, if we've ever thrown out a bag, have probably contributed to this, um, but it's a bummer. Everyone got to go home early because an F-16 crashed into the building. That's something you don't hear every day. There were no fatalities. Um, wow, that is a, that's a thing you don't see every day. Like, can you even be mad at that point? You know, a car crashes into your building. You're like, you're an idiot. How did your car end up crashing into my building? You just caused a lot of damage. A fighter jet crashes into your building. You're like, huh, wow, is everybody alive? Uh, okay. I. Yep, ejector seat worked, functioned, great, cool. I wonder if your building then gets just, like in that case, it just gets roped off. Sorry, you're not allowed to use your building anymore while the government investigates exactly how this happened and retrieves any potentially confidential technology that's actually on board of this aircraft. Um, and you've lost use of your building for a while. Sorry about that, you had a business? Nah, not nah, you don't anymore. See ya. When you're not the best friend, I feel like I need sound. Never mind. There is no sound. Oh, oh. oh God. <laughs> that hurts. That's like there's another level of of missing a handshake or like waving at someone who you think is waving at you and they're not they're waving to the person behind you. Oh God, because that's like a genuine, you actually apparently know this person and you think that they're really excited to see you and it turns out they're not. They're really excited to see the person behind you. See, at least in situations where I've like waved at someone, I, I was usually confused because I'm like, I don't know you. I don't think I know you. Do I know you and you're waving at me and I've forgotten that I've met you before and now I'm like, oh no, I'm relieved now when I, whew, Nope, it wasn't for, okay, good. It was for the person behind me. It all makes so much more sense because I was concerned that I was gonna look rude that I didn't recognize you. This case though, it's like, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, you don't, you don't care about me? Oh, okay. All right, you then, wow, this is awkward. A guy drove past my workspace and a massive box containing thousands of dollars worth of Magic the Gathering cards fell out of his truck that scattered along this road for about half a mile. I, I mean, yeah, I guess you get to keep a bunch of Magic the Gathering cards. Hopefully you have the, what is it? Blue Eyes White Dragon? That's the fancy one? Or no, there's no, the, the, what is it? Black Lotus or something? I forget which one is like super valuable, but you know, maybe you've stumbled across gold here. Welp, I once set up a sim to have my exact life. The sim spent all that time crying. I stopped playing after that. In the sims, I feel like a normal life for humans is probably not gonna be interesting at all, so it's okay. The Sims is supposed to be an embellishment. You're supposed to do things that you could only imagine doing. The Sim is gonna be bummed if all you're doing is trying to like recreate something super tedious that doesn't have too much excitement. That's all of our lives, dude. You think if I played The Sims and just had The Sims sitting in front of their computer like 24 seven that they'd be stoked? Nah, they probably wouldn't be, but that's what I do pretty much for the most part. Other than some days, there's a lot of computer sitting. So don't blame yourself. Who knew dolphins could be a-holes? Oh, I knew. They grab people's stuff on the side of like 
amusement park tanks and things like that. Probably because they're mad they're in a tank. Oh, it is, it is this one. Oh, it's this one. I have seen this before. Hopefully it's one of the waterproof ones that they make now. Like how she just storms away and the dolphin has its mouth open. It's like laughing. I <laughs> finally got one. They all have like a, a running game with each other. All the dolphins do like who can grab more people's stuff and pull it in. So he just got like 10 points. Kudos for trying. Is okay. Is this scripted or? This is so awkward, dude. Like, why would you just, why would you just walk into a Starbucks filming? Like, if okay, if this is not scripted, but Starbucks as a company would never be like, yeah, this is fine. You, they, this would never be set up. Like, this has to be. This girl actually like went in filming and was like, I'm gonna film this guy while I ask for his number and just make it even more awkward because he's on camera and his response is going to be on camera why why would you do that teenager finds an abandoned baby deer i was out working and found an abandoned baby deer we found it a good home my dude i hate to be the bearer of bad news but that deer stays in the same place alone to camouflage themselves until their mother return whoops he said he put it back shortly after the post. Oh, good, good. We have a happy ending to this story. Also, for some reason, I feel like I've seen this one before. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I saw something else deer related on another subreddit, but okay, we have a happy ending here. Hopefully it wasn't a Bambi situation. The forest doesn't look on fire, so hopefully we'll be okay. Found on Trashy, thought it also belonged here. When did you realize your parents were bad at parenting? When I was six, my mom was making me pee in a cup once a month for school. Oh God, I see where this is going, wow. Wow. Oh, then one day my mom asked me again while I was playing with my older brother. I got up, but my brother grabbed my shirt to stop me. Without looking up from our game, he said, she's using you to pass her test. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I saw that one coming. Oh, God, dude, that's, oh, uh, yeah, it's, that's, that's not good. That's not good. Mmm, man. I hope you grew up okay, and uh, y you have a fine and productive life while answering these questions on Quora or whatever website this was on and everything is super cool for you, despite your upbringing. Sadness is closer than it appears. To the man who was in my house and robbed me, keep the cash in my DSLR and whatever else you took, but if you have the memory card from the camera, please, it has photos of my dog's last day alive on it. Cannot replace those photos, please throw it into the porch, put it in the mail salon, or mail it to my address. I'm gonna be honest, don't think it's it's gonna happen. I don't. I, I I highly doubt if you're someone who would break into someone's home, when obviously you're there. It's a, only a robbery if you're actually present, um, and not a burglary. So someone who would do that, you know, probably not the kind to uh, care much about what they've done or have any remorse or, you know, return the thing to you, uh, because they're you know. They don't want to risk being caught. And also they probably don't care because they're a terrible human. So yeah, Spider-Man forever. Oh God, is the entire suit gonna like burst and he's gonna end up naked in public or something like that? Is that what's about to happen? Or are we about to get a... <laughs> this is... um. This is the start of the new very dedicated Spider-Man and Elsa YouTube roleplay series where uh, I became Spider-Man for forever until they got scissors and had to cut me out of the costume. <laughs> it's dedication to the character, okay? You know, after all those Spider-Man and Elsa channels were, were banned because YouTube updated their policy on it, um, they really had to get creative with their content so they can just do a trapped in a Spider-Man suit for a week challenge. I lived life as Spider-Man challenge. I tried to fight crime as Spider-Man challenge because I couldn't get out of my suit. Whole bunch of options here that they're digging into. I hope it goes well for them. Having an Amazon driver who delivers and then steals your package. So are you gonna take the photo because Amazon like takes the photo showing it's been delivered? Yeah, okay, cool. And then you're just gonna pick it back up and take it with you? Because, do like Amazon drivers don't actually know what's in the box, right? So it could be real hit or miss if they do that. You don't know what you're gonna end up with. So, I, like, I feel like you couldn't get away with this for too long. 
It's not like the person who was supposed to receive the package, A, isn't gonna have a security camera like this, or even if they don't, you somehow got away with that. B, it's not like they're not gonna report to Amazon, hey, yeah, uh, I think my package was stolen. And then Amazon is gonna look and be like, huh, real interesting.